Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with you today to share a tutorial on how to make this simple basic skirt. You can sew it by hand or by machine, whatever you have in, in hand. It's so so easy and you can do it, it's so affordable. You can choose any fabric you like and you can make so much of it. It's so easy. So if you want to learn, stay tuned. Let's see what you're going to need. A sewing machine, fabric, thread, scissors, a measuring tape, a marker, a zipper or an elastic and all for the fun part. You're going to grab your piece of fabric and you're going to measure your waist and how long you want your skirt to be. So in order to do that you're going to measure from your waist to your knee, your foot, whatever. You're going to I choose my my skirt to be uh, like 50 centimeters or so. If you have just one big piece of fabric, you can just do one rectangle. If you're like me and you just have one meter to work with, you're going to basically cut two rectangles on your skirt besides the waistband. Uh, in order to do that, and because I did that, I had to join both rectangles of fabric uh, together to make one long piece. And to do that, I chose to make a French seam so the end result looked a bit more polished and prettier. A French seam basically is a seam where you close it in itself. To do it, like I show here in the video, you just put a wrong sides of the fabric together, meaning that the prettier sides are facing uh, outwards and you just sew a straight stitch to join them. Then you just cut the excess of fabric and you turn it uh, inside out. You pull the like the margin to you and you sew another straight stitch like I show here in the video. This means that the the outer part of the seam will be closed in itself and it will look way prettier than you just uh, like sewing this together and then just cutting the excess fabric. I just moved to my overlock machine and did the, the entire hem and the sides of the fabric and totally didn't do the part that's going to be on my waistband because Let's be honest, that's going to be closed in the waistband, so there's no need to add an excess of bulk of thread and fabric in that part because you're going to want it to look like as thin as possible. And since you're going to do a gathered skirt, that's already going to add a lot of bulk in the waist area, so we don't need to add extra of it. Now to hemming the bottom. Okay, I know I just did the everything on my overlock, but even so, I want a prettier hem, so I make a double double fold, and instead of just sewing it with a straight stitch, I've chose to do a zigzag one, and this will make just a little more cute. <laughs> but you can choose to do whatever stitch you want to close this part. Now to work on the back or on the side, wherever you want your zipper to be, you can choose either way, on the front, on the side, on the back, you do you, you want to choose where you want it, I chose it to put on, her, on the back side, so you want to see how long your zipper is going to be and you're just going to sew the rest of the part. Uh, and you don't need to do much because I've already overlocked it. If you don't have an overlocking machine, you can just do a zigzag stitch or a, a double fold and close the seam this way. What I did after was just make a simple fold where I'm going to put my zipper. Since I'm going to sew it by hand, I just chose it to make this small fold right here and sew on a straight stitch. And since I'm putting my zipper by hand, I can hide that stitch. But and like I like it better like this, but you can hide the stitch, the, the zipper 
all the heavier you want. If you want to make an elastic band, uh, you just have to do a, a channel for it. If you want to learn how to do a skirt with an elastic band, please let me know and I can prepare a, a tutorial for you. But today we're going to do it this way. This is a really important step. When you are working with fabric, you also need a iron. And what I'm doing here is I'm just opening the seam and pressing all the seams uh, that I have in order to have a smooth canvas to work next. I know I'm going to gather the fabric, but you can open the seams right now since it will be way easier before inserting the zipper and it just helps you along the process. It's also a really good way to relax and take a little break from the sewing machine and all the threads and needles. I'm already, uh, since I'm here with uh, the iron in my hand, I'm working on my waistband. As you can see, I just smooth all this fabric so it's easier to work with. And now I'm just going to fold it uh, in the middle and press it so I mark the middle of the fabric. And I'm just doing like you would do in a bias type, for example, and I'm folding each off again in half. And then we'll make a like a small tunnel where I'm going to put my skirt after it's gathered. And since it's already pressed, it's going to be a lot easier to just put all the fabric in here and then work from there. I know there's a easier way to gather the fabric, which is in your sewing machine. You can either have a gathering foot or you can make like a long basic stitch and then just pull the thread. Whenever I do that, my thread seems to always break or I just get annoyed and it's not like I will like it. And since it's not that much fabric, I'm used to do like five, six, ten meters at a time. And this is just three meters, so it's basically nothing. So you just do a long running stitch on the entire top uh, part of the skirt, which is the part you're going together. When you're finished with that stitch, all you need to do is pull the thread and a simple trick, trick that I have to do this is when I'm preparing the thread, I already cut it on the exact size I, I want my end result to be. So I wanted 80 centimeters for my waist, so I just got together 80 centimeters of thread. And that's way easier because like that you won't have to calculate, oh, it's more, it's less, I have to do like this. No, it's that much thread, it's that how long you're going to be. Now, like I said before, all you need to do since you already have your waistband ready, is just to sandwich it in the middle of that kind of bias that you've made with the fabric and just pin it and then going to the sewing machine and right here what I did you can sew it several ways I chose since I have a visible uh, stitch in my bottom hem I chose to make a visible stitch as well on my waistband and since it matches the drawings that I have in this pattern and the fabric. I don't mind it being visible. It was my option, but there are several ways. If you want to learn other ways to close a skirt, either it's by hand or uh, like this, please just let me know. When it's for cosplay, I choose always to do an invisible one, but I always do it by hand and not on my sewing machine. So. If you're interested to, le to learn other techniques, please just let me know. Now all that it's left to do is add a closure in this part right here. As you can see, my here my, my waistband is a bit longer than it than my skirt and <laughs> than my waist is. And so it's because I always like to add a closure. You can add these small ones. I ended up adding a bigger one. 
after this when I finally bought it and I always sew it by hand and it just hides a bit the zipper and also if you either gain or lose a bit of weight it's easier to adjust your waist part instead of like opening the entire skirt and since my weight is a bit like I either gain it or lose it it's it saves me work in the future to just show, uh, get it tighter or looser. Now in the end all you need to do is go back to your iron board and just press it uh, the entire waistband so it looks a bit more polished and ta-da! It's done! Congratulations! You've made your simple gathered skirt. See guys, super super easy! Uh, if you want to know more tutorials like this, please leave in the comments down below uh, what kind of pieces you would like to learn to sew in a super easy and quick way so you can make your own dream wardrobe. This time I made this Mickey Mouse skirt, who knows what I'm going to do next. You've already seen a hat that I've customized myself with a Disney inspiration. So let me know if you want to see more of these tutorials. Don't forget to follow me on my social media, my Instagram and Facebook and also TikTok. Yes, I'm, do I'm there doing like silly things. And check my Ko-Fi account as well. So if you want to help me, I'm always around there. Also sharing tutorials. I really hope to see you guys soon in my next video. Bye! Mwah.